Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to add items into your combo box with different methods and also I will show you how to add dynamically using text box and button control items add and remove into your combo box using XLA VBA code. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output, different methods, how to populate data in the combo box using user form. User form, this is user form, the first method I have shown, this, the, uh, the data from the sheet one, have populated in this combo box user form, using row source property. And the second method using initialize, when we initialize this user form, I have shown how to add data in this uh, combo box. And the third method using array method I have showed and the fourth one adding items dynamically with the text box and button control text box these are the button controls right now this is empty if you click Charon here click insert record Charon is added successfully if you check here Charon here now again if I add some um, one click insert Record Bonnie is added successfully. See here, Bonnie. Now let's delete the Charan item from this combo box code. If I delete selected value, Charan is removed successfully. See here, we don't have any Charan here. If I select Bonnie, selected value Bonnie is removed successfully. Click OK. So we don't have any Bonnie here. This combo box is totally empty. Insert. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new blank workbook. Here I have created one new blank workbook. The file name is book one Excel. Now in the sheet one, uh, what I'm doing in B column, on the B column, I'm adding some uh, names. Sharon, Peter, Ben, Vikram, Raju. Now my aim is I want to populate this data into a user form combo box from this worksheet. So for that, when we want to create a user form, we need to open the Visual Basic Editor. Notice at the top menu there is a developer option. Click that one. If you don't have any developer option in this menu, by default it's not available. Go to File, Options, under Custom Ribbon, we have Main Tabs. Notice there is a developer option here. If it's unchecked, the developer option is unavailable. So let's activate that Options, Customize Ribbon. In the Main Tabs, select the developer. Uh, tick mark the checkbox control click ok now we got the developer here now click the developer in the developer ribbon notice the first one is a code option here inside this code option there is a visual basic click the visual basic here we got the visual basic now i want to add one user form for that uh, in the menu bar um, below there is a user form here and here we got the user form here. Let's put this a toolbox aside. We'll increase the maximize the user form. Now, first one, let's add one combo box here. Here one combo box. Now, my aim is when I run this program, notice I want to populate this data in this combo box. This is the first method I'm showing. It's very simple. Let's close this user form. Select the combo box property. Uh, in the combo box properties, here are the properties. If you don't have here, right click the combo box, go to properties. Here we'll get the properties. Now from the combo box property, we need to find the row source here. Here we got the row source here. In the row source, we need to add the range this b2 to b6 from this sheet one so let's add that one select the combo box then only we get this combo box properties 
again find the row source now here sheet one we have added the data on the sheet one exclamation mark then b2 column b6 that's it now um, select the user form now when i run this application notice here we got this data is added successfully now the second method let's close this one what we'll do is we'll add one button control take this command button here i'm adding a small button control the command button caption is it's a close button let's add the four color is red And make it bold okay now double click this button control when a user clicks that button control I want to close the uh, user form so unload me unload me that's it it's a very simple call now let's run this application again here we got the data in this combo box now when I close this button control it's closed so the first one we have user label using row source property and other size let's increase the bold coding. Now the second method is when we initialize the data, when we run the data, when we run the application, I want to display, populate the data in the combo box. So here, user form initialize, user form initialize. And out of files, let's simply bold and fold in, click OK. Other is true. Let's add another button uh, combo box here. Now select the user form, go to view code. Now here, user form, select the user form, not click here by default it's we will get click but we need to use initialize so let's read this click method here i am adding combo box one two not one it's two combo box two dot add item is a method let's add orange i'm adding some food names here copy this one paste 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 here I'm changing the fruit names, grapes, apple, and um, kiwi. Now let's run this application again. We'll check the output user form initialization. See here we got orange grapes, apple, and kiwi. Let's close the button. Up to now we have created two combo boxes with different methods. Now the third one using the array using the array using array array auto size true bold 16 okay let's add another combo box here Now in this combo box, again go to initialize, go to view code. We have already created the initialize using arrays. The array method, using the array method, combo box three, 
the combo box method uh, property contains a list list property is equals to array method array method now i'm adding here i'm adding a car colors names is blue black black red and brown now let's run this application again the first one rows property second one we have initialize now we got using the array now the final one let's increase this user form now how to add dynamic color with the text box adding items with text box and button let's increase the size bold put in ok Now I'm adding two buttons here. In the controls there is a command button. Click that one. This is the first button. The button caption I'm changing to insert. Insert. Let's increase the size, bold, coding, okay. Auto size two. Control C, control V. We'll create the second com command button. Change the caption to remove or delete. I'm adding delete. Delete. Now we require one combo box here again. So I'm adding one combo box. Now when a user clicks this button control, I want to insert the data. Here we got the command to click. Command to click here. Now let's add the code combo box for dot add item the add item i'm getting from text box use some space uh, we require one text box also no so again switch over to the designing part let's put this aside and we require one text box control now click the button control again the code is combo box for dot add item now we are getting the values from the text box so text box one dot value that's it after that i want to display some message box here message box Mm. record record selected record selected value selected value text box one dot value plus this on space is added successfully will also give some space after that i need to clear the text box control text box one dot value is equals to empty string that's it now let's run this application again run so let's add some data here i'm adding some my name is charan click insert see here we got a pop-up message box selected value charan is added successfully let's check here we got charan let's add another record then insert then here Vikram insert Vikram here now let's delete the data click the double click uh, let's close this application first delete button here we got the delete button 
to delete the record and the code is humble box 4 dot remove item is a method from combo box 4 dot list item list index sorry list index after that after that i want to display the same message box instead of added successfully selected value is removed successfully and and here it's not text box it's a combo box one dot value here it's not selected value it's you have to add the record record combo box four now let's check the final output now let's check the final output different methods how to populate data in the combo box using user form user form this is a user form the first method i have show this the uh, the data from the sheet one have populated in this combo box user form using row source property and the second method using initialize when we initialize this user form i have showed how to add data in this uh, combo box and the third method using array method i have showed and the fourth one adding items dynamically with the text box and button control text box these are the button controls right now this is empty if you click charan here click insert record charan is added successfully if you check here charan here now again if i add some um, vani click insert record vani is added successfully see here vani now let's delete the charan item from this combo box code if i delete selected value charan is removed successfully see here we don't have any charan here if i select one selected value one is removed successfully click ok so we don't have any one here this combo box is totally empty insert that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to add items into your combo box using user form in different methods and also i have showed the dynamically using text box and button control also thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial